Hey parents, back to school is coming up fast. So this week's tip is for parents of those little kiddos who are heading to school for the first time or who maybe were in school but have now been at home for quite a while because of the pandemic. And this tip is about helping them to be as independent as possible when they get to school. And there's a couple reasons for this. The first is that those teachers are gonna be really, really busy. So the more your kiddo can do for themselves, the better off they're gonna be. The second reason is that the more they can do for themselves, the more they can help other kids. And we know that being of service to others does wonderful things for our own confidence and self-esteem. The third reason is that feeling as capable as possible is gonna build your kids' confidence and resiliency and that feeling of, hey, I know I can handle it. So, things like learning how to button their own clothes. If you wanna practice this at home, instead of having your kiddos practice buttoning on themselves, lay their shirts or sweaters down on, the, on a table or on the floor and have them practice in front of you. It's a Montessori tip that will help them to learn much more easily than if they're doing it on themselves. Shoe tying, same thing. If they're at the stage where they're ready, have them practice with shoes they're not wearing first because that's gonna help them get the steps down before they're actually doing it on themselves in a, t in a time crunch. Okay? Things like blowing their own noses and then disposing of the tissue and washing their hands after. Opening their own banana at lunch. Those lunch containers, okay? Really, really tricky to do. If you've been at home for a while, not opening them for yourself or not even using them if you've been eating lunch with a plate, okay? Um, this is one of my favorite tricks from way back when I was teaching little guys. Have them practice putting their sweaters or jackets down on the floor, I'm gonna do it on a table because you know, I'm old, I don't bend that far down anymore. And have them put their arms in the sleeves and flip it over their heads, okay? You can go back and rewatch that if that was a little too fast for you. All of these things are gonna help your children to be more physically independent, which is the first step in becoming academically independent. There's a whole bunch of steps in between, right? Physical independence, emotional independence, social independence, and then academic independence. So if you wanna help them feel successful heading off to school and set them on a good path for academic excellence down the road, this is where you get started, okay? There's tons more tips coming your way before school starts. And as always, if you have any questions, you can comment below or you can reach out to me through Sitterstream or kate at guidedparentingsupport.com. I'd love to hear from you.